Hi everybody, this is Dr. Nick. So this is just continuing the series of Sensei Imago videos. So the next video that I'm going to showcase is um, post-scan. So we're going to go into the different kind of groups that we can analyze. And we're going to start by first just explaining the, the top seven groups. Once we explain those top seven groups, then we'll go into a little bit more detail in terms of tissues that are specific to the person or the individual um, and what it really means when we're looking deep into those. So I hope you enjoy. And hey guys, this is Dr. Nick here. Um, I wanted to show you now how we kind of assess after a scan. So just to start off with, we have seven major headings on the top of this, uh, this title area. So we have the first one, which is express monitoring. So we can think of that as our overall um, body scan which gives us more of a generalization of what's happening in the overall body. And then the next six parts here, the skeletal bones, joints, chest, organs, organs of extraperitoneal, cellular tissue, male or female pelvic organs, or and then the head and then the abdomen, these are part of the base catalog, and those are the segments that we look into. Once we look into all of these seven categories, um, we assess what's going on, then we can dive in and look at the specific tissues as we see here. Um, as we see with the duodenum tissue, the pancreas tissue, and the small intestine, etc., or whatever else we choose to kind of look at and hone in on. So and on the left side here, you see coefficients. So as you might assume, the closer to 100, the more ideal. I would say that 90 is the most ideal number, because like I think we said at one point, when we have too many white markers in this area, that can be that the cell or the tissue is inactive or it's in reserve. So sometimes we want active tissues. So ideally, we would want yellow um, markers in order to showcase that things are active and things are being pushed out. So that's what this ma major screen is showing us. And then as we go down, like we said, we have also the organ that we are, or tissues specifically that we want to look into. As we can see, there's many we can choose. And in this skin, we chose very few just to showcase some of the basics of what the scan um, analysis entails. But like you can see in this sentence or in this uh, scan, we checked the larynx and cross section. We also checked the pancreas and duodenum tissues and the small intestine. And there's many more we can check. We can go down, see blood, lymphatics. So many more that can be checked. But our next part is to actually look into and see what's going on with uh, express monitoring.